Escape Classroom. I'm John Heag, along with my buddy, colleague, running partner, fellow coach, brother from another mother, Kevin Kogan. Um, we're here to talk to you more about some World War I documents, but we're going really local, and we're hoping that doesn't give you a clue or, to, or some insight into what these documents are about. But we're going local, and we're getting these documents from the New York State Archives Partnership and Trust. And uh, the good thing is, is that, you know, since I brought up brother, all right, it's almost like a, a you know a slip of the tongue here, or just the way it came out. We're looking at it looks like maybe brothers or friends here. So, like these photos, we're gonna check out. I don't think you can necessarily do them as a standalone, but I think if you and I just sit here and just you know what I was actually through that. What this is great as is like a jumping off point. Yeah, exactly. Into a. Um, a research project. There we go. Especially of, of local history. Yeah. You know, we look at this picture, you know, pictures are worth a thousand words um, and they raise a thousand questions. Absolutely. Um, where are we? Who are these guys? Um, what branch of military service are they in? Um, why are they being photographed? Right. <laughs> Who's the oldest? Who's the, I mean, there's so many questions that you can use as a jumping off point and then give your students different resources to use to find out and do a little bit more research into them. So what more, what, anything else here pop out at you? I mean, I, I spent a little bit more time looking at this, stepping away from it and looking at it again, but uh, so I had some thoughts on it, but what, what pops out at you with this? I mean, for me, it's where they are. Yeah. Um, to me, it's definitely a rural environment. Right. Um, since we know it's the New York State uh, local, could be here on Long Island. Could, could be, be more. Could be more upstate if we're on the east end of Long Island. It's going to be upstate. Island. So I don't forget. I don't remember the county on this one, but yeah, definitely upstate. You know, but it's definitely rural, which then lends me the question as to you know social class of this family. Absolutely. Um, that tending to be you know we're in the nineteen teens. Yeah. During World War One, if you're a rural family, you're probably not upper class. No. You know, more middle, lower, working class, hard right. working class. Um, also, just their faces. You know. I'm drawn to um, these guys. These guys here are a little bit more stoic looking. Yep. These guys are a little bit happier looking. Yep. Could that be they're going to be stuck on a boat? <laughs> <laughs> it's so true. I, I don't know. Who do you think is the oldest out of this one? Oh, I mean, seeing the numbers makes me there makes me almost wonder if they're standing in age order. Or if the guy with the arms around everybody. You know, the numbers, and I don't have it on this slide, just, just was able to give you an idea of which one it was. Okay. Uh, another question I have as well is, you know, did they enlist mm -hmm. or were they drafted? We need to almost know the year of the picture for that too. Absolutely. You know, but, but, there's, but there's so many things you can do with, with photographs. But even when it comes to like the whole enlisting or, or drafting, you know, the, the four of these guys are brothers. Um, me, my, my, the way I'm looking at it, when you're looking at all of the recruitment posters from that particular time period, now you have four brothers together. Um, I would almost say that one of the brothers enlisted and the other ones did as well. Kind of like, yeah, you're doing this with me. Yeah, you're doing this with me. Um, although these probably, these two went rogue and just went right to the Navy as well. But I mean, since we're, we were bringing up uniforms before, um, it, these two are obviously sailors. These two is a little bit difficult to make out, I think. Um, I know when it comes to cover or hat, you know, but in the, in the military they'll call this a cover. This probably could have been a Marine. Um, this guy probably could have been um, Army. Um, and then the other thing too, um, when you're looking at uniforms as well, since everything really happened fast, um, book I was reading about Baylu Wood, where Marines were pretty much, that was their battle that really put them on the map or, or set them apart from other branches. Marines were actually kind of using Army uniforms. So I don't think that was the case here because this is probably home front, yeah. you know. The other thing I'm thinking, yeah, definitely home front. We got like laundry. Hanging yeah, I love that. I love that. I love that. The other thing I'm thinking too is that you know, well, these four guys, they have a mom. Mm -hmm. You know, what's the thoughts here? And probably sisters, sisters. Probably even younger brothers who aren't even old enough to serve. Right. You know, it, it was very common of rural families to have eight, Huge ten, families. yeah, twelve, fifteen children. They might be a farming family yeah. as well. Um, I almost think too, you know, you're looking at this, the four of them are together. Uh, this could be like your, your last picture as brothers together. Yeah. Uh, that, that makes it, I guess, a little eerie. Bittersweet. Yeah, bittersweet. You know, they don't, you know, when you're bringing up class before, you know, maybe something like this would be something that you'd want to probably do in a studio, very professional looking, but going to class, they, they can't really afford that. Yeah. Um, 
the other thing too, you know, did they all make it back? Is what I'm asking. That's yeah. You know, that's what I was saying, like a, almost like a research project. You know, yeah. if you've ever been to the Holocaust History Museum in Washington, D.C., they give you like a, a card when you go in right. of a Holocaust victim or survivor. Yeah. You don't know what happens until you're exiting the museum. That's why I thought it was cool to look at this from you because, I mean, you got brothers, I got brothers, I mean, and you know, if you. If you I just, got four sons. Right. I mean, if you, if you look at it, like, this is, this is probably where they grew up. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Maybe that tree was something special to them. Yeah. Who knows? Maybe one of them hung from it, you know, climbing up and Car- falling out of it. Girls initials Carver Girls in Initials. Yeah. Great spot for a first kiss with yes. that view. Just yes. saying. Just saying. But, you know, apparently it was kind of common because there's another one coming from that collection. You know, uh, again, we have three brothers. Uh, with here, you could, I was able to make it out a little bit more. You know, right up here, you have the, the Eagle Globe and Anchor, which uh, the Marines... That's their symbol, that's what they stand by here. Um, here's another thing, and, and when you look at it, um, because it looks like these two are probably in the same branch, I wonder, were they, were they in the same unit? Yeah, not uncommon either back then. It wasn't, I mean, today, I don't think you would have family members, but when you're looking at World War One, the whole idea was is that if people were going to be from the same community where they're being enlisted or draft, they tried to keep people from certain towns together sometimes, made them fight more. You know, if we're from the same town, hey, we grew up together, you know, I got yeah. your back, I got, yeah, I, I got your back, you got my you back. You're spending all this time in the trench with somebody. Right, you might as well be somebody you know. Yeah. Um, so when, when that was going through my head, then you had a picture of these three brothers that actually were in the same unit. So... What we probably want to know more of is that putting brothers in the same unit, was that their preference? Was that allowed? Or, or are we getting towards this is desperation? So that's what I love about these photos. I mean, we, we kind of grouped them together with some other brothers to kind of you know, yeah. talk and about Yeah, as I said, it. great jumping off point. Oh, I love into it. Into research of, of World War One. It really is cool. Another, you know, looking at the terrain again. More you know, rural. Yeah. There were other pictures too. You saw that some of them were done in studios. Um, with brothers, so you know that might indicate kind of class. I mean, of course, we don't have the, you don't have. Uh, I don't think Sears is doing the uh, kid photos particularly at this point. But what's, what's Sears? Right, right. Anything else you, that pops out at you? I really like these. These are oh, pretty cool. Yeah, great resource to use though. I mean, because as a teacher, I'd be like, ah, maybe I use it, maybe I don't. But then, you know, when I put them together with these other ones, I throw you in the room. Uh, magic just happens. Always does. All right. Thanks for watching.